Hi guys. Um, first, I want to say thank everybody for uh, wishing me well and for offering to be there to talk to if I needed to. I really appreciate that. Um, doing a little better. Um, trying to take care of the things I need to take care of. So, yesterday, I came across her live at the end where she was having an orgasm in her chair. And I jumped up here, put OBS Studio on, I started to, uh, I actually was recording it, I thought, and reacting to it with disgust. And when I went to upload it, I was there. You could hear and see me, and you could hear her, but the screen was black. Something happened to my OBS. So I had to hurry up and try to fix it. And by the time I got it working again, she deleted the video. So I ended up missing it. But this is from today. Sometime. I don't know. I just found it. And she's being a bully. And, you know, acting like what she did is nothing. And it's nobody's business. Yet she puts it out there for everybody to see. So it becomes our business. And, uh, yeah, she's threatening um, I believe she uh, slanders somebody, and she's being the same old Trisha that I always said was just, you know, underneath the skin there. It was just right below, ready to come out at any time. So let's listen to her. Messy hair, who cares? <sighs> My ears are burning. <laughs> so what? Oh my gosh. Goodness gracious. <laughs> mm. This is so high. I'm fixing my hair. Oh, oh. Does this make me sexy? Film finder thingy. Hi. Oh, hi oh. there. How are you? I'll well, do that in the store. Listen, Maybe I'll catch a man. Hi, loved ones. Nice to see you. They're obsessed. I'm. I'm still trying to like. I'm. I'm still trying to understand. Stop fucking playing with your hair. You do it all the goddamn time. It's Hi. annoying. Thank you for the thumbs up. So I heard y'all were talking about me again. Yeah, how disgusting you are. Listen, I don't know what it is. I don't know what y'all's problem are with me, but I don't care about you. I don't care about you. I'm sorry to say it that way, Mandy. I'm sorry, this, this message is for Mandy. My ex-husband's wife. Fuck off. Fuck right off. Fuck off. Fuck off as far away as you can. Why are you so obsessed with me? Say it to my face, you ugly bitch. You're just jealous. You are so... Nobody's obsessed with you. Nobody's jealous of you. You are just a train wreck and we like to watch you know how people look at an accident or watch a drunk stumbling down the street it's the same thing we just like to watch people make fools of themselves and that's exactly what you do jealous you have to steal my content you have to vlog all about me who cares what i do i could sit here and pick my nose and Whatever, who cares? What concern is it of yours what I do? 
guess what? It's not OnlyFans. It's YouTube. Don't you have a husband to take care of, you stupid bitch? Mandy? No, not, not makeup on Mandy. I love you. I'm not talking about her. I am talking about my ex-husband's wife who is obsessed with me every single day. Every single day. Do you know that there are only... Only, there's only so much time in a day, right? When you get out of your house, when you wake up, when you do stuff with your life, when you're not just sitting behind a screen all day long, talking shit like you're a nine-year-old playing Xbox, when you're finally grown up and you're doing adult things. That was interesting, um, to say the least. Well, at least I can have orgasms. Some of y'all can't. I never had one till over two years ago, like a real one. Well, at least some of us have somebody to do it with. I mean, I don't, but I don't have orgasm. We don't sit there and do it on a chair, rowing up against the seat of the chair, obviously, to music. I, I don't know. It doesn't matter doesn't matter, but the idea is who cares? Who cares if I sit here and do whatever? That's my business. What business is it of yours? You but I wanna see it. you. I wanna, I wanna panel up with you. I wanna like smack the hell out of you, you yeah. ugly bitch. I really do. I just, I just wanna like meet you and just like whoop out you just once. This is the second time. It, it might even be more, but I remember her threatening again somebody and this is ridiculous how does she keep getting away with threatening somebody online and youtube not doing a damn thing about it and your ugly man titty big belly low ball hanging nasty ass husband too she yeah but i bet his nipples are even is that a threat yeah smack you upside the head you stupid bitch leave me alone seriously Listen, I like me some threesomes, all right? Even at times, I like I like it a lot. But I'm not in your threesome. I got rid of my ex-husband, okay? I am not in your marriage. Y'all made me in your marriage. Every day that you post about me, every day that you talk about me, posting my nudes in different places, does that make you happy? Mandy, you've got problems and you need help and you need to focus on your husband unless you two are like whacking it off, doing it all the time at me. I don't know you. I don't like you. You saw me on TV. You saw me on TV and you ordered me a pizza and you wanted my man because you thought we were like, you know, did you think you could smell him on me on him or something? What is it? That's slander. Isn't you it? convinced him to steal my underwear and my dresses. What the fuck is wrong with you, lady? Okay, isn't that slander? I don't care about you. So you can twist my words, you can edit, and you can mm. do whatever the fuck, but you won't say it to my face, you stupid ass bitch. I have the right to live my life because your husband didn't kill me. He's not gonna kill me. He's a weak ass pussy. Yeah, you're married to a fucking coward. If he's such a weak ass pussy and he's a coward, why were you so scared of him? Why were you so scared for your life while you were married to him, you fucking liar? You, Mandy, are married to a weak ass pussy ass bitch who's got tits as big as mine now. How do you like that? You're such a fucking liar. So come on. I don't care anymore. I don't give a fuck about you. You make it a fuck about me every day. Who cares if I did whatever? You all are fucking jealous bitches. So so say whatever. Post your oh I'm gonna I'm gonna spend time body shaming. Oh okay. So what she didn't do to me? Fuck you. I'm sick and tired 
of some of you trying to shame me for who I am. When's the last time you've been to the gym? When's the last time you've been to the gym, Mandy? Maybe she doesn't have to go. Come on, say something in one of your 500 trolls. Because you're a fucking weak-ass, coward-ass bitch, too. All that time, let's make her scared. Let's make her cry. Let's be mean girls. Fuck you. Such a bully. That is a bully right there. That is the old Trisha coming through. You have not changed. You have not changed one bit. Everything you do, when you come on here and saying how good you are, how much better you're doing, it's all bullshit. And your stupid little dog, too, that you had to copy like me. What's that like? You had to pick up a dog. What is that like? What is that like? Why don't you try to copy me? Why don't you go to the gym? Why don't you? Yes, that's you, too. You're a fucking idiot. Oh, you're getting a reaction from her. You brought me... Okay, so let's say this, too. I didn't dox my ex-boyfriend, okay? I was drunk, and I was vulnerable, and I messaged him. Somebody else did that. So y'all brought me in y'all's relationship, too, and I don't want no threesome with the three of you. Because... I know I like me some threesomes, but uh-uh, subtraction, negative, zero. Some of y'all got some problems. Why don't you mind your own business and do something with your life instead of stalking mine? Okay, you went online. You are putting out a video for people to see, and people are watching. So whatever you do is kind of making it our business. So if we see something stupid like you did last night, which was trashy as fuck, we say something about it. You watch my every Facebook profile. See, what's Trisha doing? I saw that clip, Paula. Paula, I will call you out, you ugly, ugly, ugly cow. Wow, that made me feel so good inside. Oh my gosh, you know what? That's what bullies do. That made me feel feel so freaking amazing right now because I called Paula a cow. Because bullies call people names because they feel shitty about themselves. I, I'm like, so you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't believe that. Do your nails. I'm, right? I'm so top tier roasting her. Oh, yes. Shows you how much of a fuck I give. So meanwhile, 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 hey y'all, those of you who just tuned in, it's me, truthfully, Trisha, who's just fucking had enough of these stupid coward ass bitches. <laughs> she took all of my pictures off of Instagram, right? She took all of my pictures off of Facebook. Let's talk about Trisha's damn food boil. Whatever the hell. Seafood boil. Who gives a fuck any fuck? Like, really? Who cares? Hi, Boho. I love you. I, I really want to call out Mandy. I want to see that bitch face to face. See me face to face. What are you going to say to me? Every single day, dramatic whatever. You're going to make a, a video. Can you see how I stopped her on my phone? I don't know if you could see it. Look how she looks. I can't tell if I'm getting too close or what. <laughs> Just a funny thing. So about me, or you're gonna make a channel all about me. What am I doing today? I pick my nose and I shove my fist up my, you know what? Fuck off. Probably fits. Every day. You post about me. I am alive. I have the right to live my life. And if I want to vlog, I'll fucking vlog. And if I want to have a beer, I'll have a fucking beer. Because you know what I'm doing? I'm fucking working for it. I cried last night. I didn't go to sleep until about 4 a.m. Because I was flashing back thinking of the time when I was married to that. Chicken legged low ball hanging big belly man tittied. Balding good for nothing son of a bitch. 
I don't believe it. Bullshit. If you cried last night, it was probably because you realized what you did. You saw that everybody was posting about it, and you probably were embarrassed. You did not sit there and cry thinking about your terrible life with your ex-husband. That's bullshit. I pawned my wedding ring and made me stand in a food pantry line so I could feed him discounted hamburger meat. Fuck him. So good for him. He can live in his mommy and daddy paid for a trailer in the backwoods of Georgia. Thank God, because that's not where I wanted to be when we couldn't even afford rent. She's so jealous. And then he told me I was a piece of shit because I wanted things that made me happy. Fuck you. Fuck you, Ike. Finally, I have the courage. Finally, I can say fuck you, Ike. And you know what? Ike is mad. You want to know why Ike is mad? Because Ike and his first ex-wife had a grift going on. Because I was a strong single mom that had my own small business and that's when that narc got into my life and I paid all of his bills and his Uncle Fester looking bald headed bug eyed <laughs> butt face cousin named Andy who wanted to fuck me. Isn't this just how she used to be? Calling people names continuously, not just one name, but 150 names and then brings other people into it and lies. You're just like you used to be. Yeah, fuck you, Andy. You're the pig. You look just like one. You should be careful going around places. They think you escaped from somewhere. You look like a freaking ham hock. Are you upset? All this time. All this time. I love you, Boho. All this time, y'all tried to make me feel like I was this big while y'all ganged up on me. All 15 of you. Wow. What did you do today? Well, I woke up and I went on YouTube. And when I went on YouTube, I made an ass of myself. See, it was way different, Ike. When you used to sit in front of my door because you didn't want me to go anywhere. Oh, oh bullshit. Ike. Look at you now. Look at you now, Ike. Aren't you so pathetic, Ike? He's and Mandy happy. right there behind you, you know? Is, is, you know, she's just waiting for you to kick the bucket because she don't really love you. She's just all out for me. You know what? She is not out for you. You think she's waiting for him to die so she can get with you? You're so full of shit. It's killing you that they're happy. That's what it is. It's fucking killing you. But I'm not into you, Mandy. You're not my type. And... She don't want you. Nobody wants you. I'm really sorry that I was someone that you latched onto, but I'm tired of living in fear. I'm tired of living in fear, boho. You think I'm afraid of Mandy? You think I'm afraid of, of that bobblehead? Oh no, she's going to tell somebody that I said I'd smack her upside the head. Wow, come on at me. If I ever see her in person, she's lucky that's all she'd get. Another threat. If I have a boyfriend, so then another thing was, what business? Girl, Mandy, you've got a man. Fuck off. Right? Boho, let me ask you a question. She's got a motherfucking husband. Why is she, why is, she's got a husband. Why is she coming at me? Why is it that, I, you know, what did she do today? How was her day? Did she structure it? Did she have a goal? Did she have an aim? Did she have something that she really wanted to do? It was all about Trisha. She spent hours watching me and editing videos of me. You wanna know what I did today? No, you don't. It's okay, because I'm not going to tell you. But I'm definitely not doing that. See these hands? These are hard-working motherfucking hands. I love you, love wins. Hardcore. And I love you, boho. And I'm all glad. Hi, all of you that are here today. These are some jealous-ass bitches that are with my ex-men that want to destroy me. Did I, did I do something that good to them that their new women just, whatever it is, their men want me back? 
Then, I then I'm gonna try to. to call me a home wrecker. It takes two to tango. It takes two to tango. Man's gotta walk out of it. Do I look like my Miley Cyrus and damn wrecking ball? I didn't just bust through their house. Y'all. Y'all, they wanna they wanna try to shame me. And I'm not allowed to have a voice. I'm not allowed. I'll tell you, I've been more depressed not being able to speak. I love to vlog. Yeah, but they have no life. Think about it. So I'm supposed to sit here in fear because someone can pick up the phone and call whatever. Wow, you're a fucking big shot. You're a big shot. You're a big shot. Because you sit and you stroke on your bird all day long. Trisha, 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 Trisha. That's all you fucking do is talk about Trisha. Did you know there's a lot of stuff going on on the other side of the world that needs our attention? Out of the world that needs our attention, then Trisha. Guess what? We're reaction channels. So this is what we do. This is a job. I mean, I don't get paid for it, but we look for idiots online and we make reactions to them. So you are a project <laughs> and that's all it is to it you uh the titty uh shanny all these people so you know it's what we do i'm just getting started these people have been doing great jobs for a while i'm just low on the totem pole here but i'll get to it i mean am i that good when i think about it like yeah, if i reframe that it you're just turn it around. I mean, shit. I'm I'm working. I'm look at. I I'm not just sitting here. Whatever. I'm actually working hard at something that I'm really proud of, and they can't take that away from me. They can't take that away from me. I've learned what it means to earn a living. Hmm. I know now what it means to earn a living. Like, yeah, wake up vlog on YouTube, go work out at the gym, come home, pose on OnlyFans. What kind of thrilling, exciting experience wow, what is a that? job. Does that make you feel so good about yourself that you want to collapse in bed at night and be like, wow, no. That made me look like I was desperate and in need of attention, right? I did need attention back then because I never got none. And once I tasted attention, it tasted really good. And I loved the taste of attention. But then when I realized there was more to me, oh, love you. Okay, see you soon, Boho. Message me on Instagram. When I realized after going back to school and getting a little bit of education, yeah, I am a, a, a dropout of, I, I don't need to know, I don't, I don't need to know biology. I'm good. We love you, Boho. Thank you for being here. When you turn all that around and you start loving yourself for the first time, like you love other people and your heart just swells with gratitude and thankfulness to God that he made a way when you had no way, you're the train wreck. Nothing that you say, throw your stones. You don't scare me anymore. You don't bother me. You're nothing. You're insignificant. You're shit. I'll flush you away. I do it every day. That feels good. So when they come about and they try to wreck me, okay, I'm not scared of you anymore, Mandy. True. Anymore? Because you're really not who you say you are. And I'm going to make something very loud and clear, Mandy Troop. You and your coward ass little peckered husband are insignificant to me in my life because I don't wake up thinking of you. I don't. I don't post about you because I don't care about you. But it's quite obvious when I post about myself, you post about myself. This is like one of the only vlogs lately that um, I've said something about it, but I, I wanted to speak up about it. What have you done today, Mandy? 
What have you really done besides trying to smear me because you're a flying monkey for now three fucking years? Is that going to be the way it is the rest of your life? Did she have the baby? What baby? I don't care. If, no. So if I am having a good time, if I post whether I have a guy or I don't have a guy, what concern is it of you, Mandy? You're jealous. You're so Are you done jealous. posting my picture in other places? Are you done? I, I'm waiting to find out because y'all have done some real sneaky shit. And y'all, it's like a, a sport that y'all live for. Like it's a, no, I'm supposed to sit here and be silent. Don't be vlogging. Don't share what you love to do because people come after you. But you know what though? You know what though? Hi, Roger. Nice to see you. How are you? Hi, Roger. I like you, Roger. I saw one of your vlogs the other day. You're so sweet. But we shouldn't have to be told to shut up. We shouldn't have to be told. What was the whole point of five years ago? Why did I say I was Rosa Parks of the internet? Sorry What's about that. What's wrong with her? Aw. Mandy does not matter. Well, then why do I matter to her? Did Becca pull the plug again? No. So why do why does it matter what I do to her? I mean, what to her? Why does it matter what I do more so? Duh. Deflection. You know, she's trying to white knight for him. Thank you, Roger. I I'd like to know what your thoughts are. Now listen, I made some mistakes in the past. You're still making them. I made some mistakes in the past. I woke up, I had no life, but I'm over him and that life. I don't talk about it for the most part, except right now when I'm having my verbal smackdown. I was watching some wrestling clips and I was watching some, I was watching some Muhammad Ali and all of them, you know, right before they went to smackdown, they'd have that like, you know, you coward ass bitch, come at me. Nothing real, you know what I mean? Like they would trash talk each other, right? Think about it. She got to change his diapers every day. Think about it. Her life is not all sunshine and rainbows. She got to deal with that thing every day. You are, you are the person that you hang around. If you hang around with shitty people, you become shit. Even if you're married to them. At some point, we move on. If I want to do a video about gardening, I can do a video about gardening. And then she'll post it like what Trisha did. Trisha put a seed in a pot. And then you know when you make faces? Look at that. You are so fucking funny looking. You, you make some faces. You should look in the mirror and do those faces. Because you're fucking ugly when you do them. Nothing grew into a plant. How dare she? Where did she get that pot from? Fuck off, Mandy. Or you're gonna go call the police. She, is t she said my name. Dude, you posted my vagina on a Craigslist dad. Mandy. <laughs> Hi, Kaylee. I doubt she did she, that. That's she fun. and Paula past my vagina pics and they think it's funny <laughs> and it's not even the one and they superimposed a damn sandwich or they superimposed a sandwich on it or whatever <laughs> and I'm supposed to be ashamed of who I am I say Kaylee I say love wins when they call me jealous I think they are so I started seeing this new guy I totally trolled the fuck out of those other bitches. Anyway, I did not 
ask him about his ex other than do you have one? I didn't say let's look at all her socials. Do you have any nudes? I want to see everything about her. No! Hi there. Nice to see you, lol. And it, it's funny because it's all in the growth and development of who we are and the direction that we're going and the, the places that we are. And right now I'm in a place not of lack. I'm in a place of abundance. I'm in a place of prosperity. I'm in a place of I'm fucking working hard and I'm proud of myself and fuck all you bitches that don't like it. Yeah, that's the place I'm in. And meanwhile, I'm, I'm working my, my shoulders off. I'm working my tail off. I'm doing what I am as an American woman to provide for herself. That I'm not with a man because I've got to be with a man. I'm with a man whenever I want one or a woman or both of them. Doesn't matter. She's mad. So she's carrying on the torch for her husband. Husband. He's still a hoe. He's still a hoe because he's, he's still a hoe because he's still talking to women on the internet. He's not in a faithful and loving marriage. Slander. He's not in a faithful, loving, and committed, caring relationship. He's incapable of that. See, you he was can't. in a grift with his first wife. I'm going to stop it now. So I'm getting tired, and I'll get tired of her. Um, I'll watch it later and see if she says anything more stupid. Well, probably tomorrow, if, if it's up there. She's just so jealous. She cannot stand that he's happy. Uh, she can't stand it, period. And, um, yeah, and she's talking about how she's a hard worker and she's making it and stuff. Just a couple months ago, she was fucking homeless and had nothing. So don't be sitting there bragging about how good you have it. So anyway, that's my video. Um, God, I hope this worked. So I will see you guys, um, Hopefully tomorrow. I got a couple videos I want to upload, but I've got a zillion phone calls to make. I'm trying to get a hold of the electric company. I keep, I get the first person and they have to connect me to someone else. And then they say, your whole time is 20 minutes. You can wait online or we can call you back. And I do that. They call back and I tell them what I need. And it's okay, let me transfer you to this person. And I get the same thing. The whole time is one hour to one and a half hours. And I do the same thing. And then they call me back. And I have to go to another department. And it, your, your whole time is three hours. And this has been going on all day for two days. How the hell am I supposed to take care of that shit when I can't even get a hold of them? So, you know, I'm frustrated. And then I'm trying to get a hold of this other lady to see, um, excuse me, about food stamps. I, I, I never have food. I'm living off ginger ale and TV dinners, seriously, and hot dogs. Because uh, I am putting money down on that electric bill, you, you know, I was talking about. And they have to eat first, my cat and my dog. I make sure they eat. And, um, you know, there's kitty litter and uh, gas I need, and it's crazy. So I'm trying to get a hold of her. She's never at her desk. Uh, you know, she's supposed to help me apply for any benefits I can get being disabled and uh, 64. And I, I might be able to do something with the electric because at night I need my oxygen and it's electric. So I'm trying to get a hold of her and I leave my message and then she'll call me back either when I'm driving, you know, doing DoorDash where I can't stop and pull over and have a 20 minute conversation because I have somebody's order in the car or I'm walking the dog and it's like we keep missing each other and it's getting frustrating. So. Yeah, I'm, I've been really busy trying to take care of the things that I can to try to get out of this mess I'm in. 
So anyway, guys, because uh, that would uh, relieve a lot of the stress that I think is making me so angry. And, uh, yeah. So anyway, guys, I will see you again. You guys take care. And, again, thank you for uh, making me feel better when I made my last video. I'll talk to you guys later. I know.